Well, hello, tank mates. This is Ron, Garage Aquatics 2023. Hiker reached out to me and asked me to do a review on their aquarium cleaning six in one set. And I said I'd be happy to do it. Uh, so we're going to do an unboxing and then we'll go through all the pieces and see what we think. So let's see, what do we got here on the beginning? Uh, on the box, six in one multifunctional cleaning tools. Telescopic handle, easy to install and undo, durable and firm material, safe for all kind of aquarium. Okay, a little grammatical thing there, but that's okay. And then on the back, uh, I guess contact information, that's, uh, I guess their distributor in Chino, not too far from here, I'm in Palm Desert. Um, 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 and there's all their information and they suggest you read the instructions and we'll probably find those in the box so let's give that a shot all right so opening the box i have not been in this box yet so we shall see what it looks like that seems nicely packed and there are the instructions all right we'll take those out and go for it all right well let's see what we got here so this is my first time through this too uh start out with the handle like it's a couple pieces so from what I read in the instructions it goes anywhere from 1.95 feet almost two feet to 2.95 feet almost three feet so all right this is a tension thing so I slide slide this uh, this essentially a nut over that makes this adjustable so that's they send it in two separate pieces, which makes sense, I guess, in the package. So we'll put this together, and then we should be able to tighten this upper nut down anywhere. And that should lock it in. I used to paint houses for a living, and I would buy rollers, uh, roller extension poles with this same kind of thing for a lot more money that didn't lock this well. This this feels good, and the whole thing feels um, feels good in the hand. It's a square handle. All right, feels good in the hand. Hiker logo. All right, and this spring end and a little lock. So what goes on here? This they're calling it a gravel rake. Okay. So follow the, uh, the arrow here, that's going to slide in, there's a, a, a wider spot right here. So this, this little bump out here will go into that wider spot, give it a push and a twist and it's locked in. It feels pretty solid too. All right. So they're calling it a gravel rake. I've never used anything like that before, but now there's a first time. Okay, so we'll set that here. And then a tube brush, which will come in handy for, and it's gonna mount the same way, kind of a quick disconnect. Um, so it's essentially a bottle brush. Looks like it's maybe about, I don't know, three eighths of an inch in diameter. All right, and that is pretty deep. It's a neat material, it's soft. Uh, and again, gonna, gonna fit the same way. Push and twist, there it is. And it comes back out the same way, push and twist. And then what do we have here? If this is a razor blade in here, I want to yeah, be a little careful with that. Okay. And it's wide, too. I like that. So, again, push and twist. And there are screws, little tiny Phillips screws. Now, I don't know if there's replacement blades in here or not. There looks like there's a replacement spring. Um... 
and I'll have to go back through the instructions. There's also a little Allen wrench. Uh, so we'll have to see where that comes in handy. All right. And then what else do we have here? Oh, this is something that I think all of us have problems with is getting the corners. I know I get algae build up in the corners and this is a little corner scraper. It's a little really soft sponge. Uh, you know what, there's where the Allen wrench comes in. Let's try that. Get this little uh, Ziploc open. Yep. Let's loosen the, uh, loosen the set screw. And we can adjust it probably this way so we can stick the let me tighten that back up i like this this is this is kind of fun wrong side tighten that back up i'm going to shorten the handle back here okay and then push that in the hole give it a twist and I just noticed that there's a little arrow uh, on the fittings, on the pieces. Yeah, that line up where that notch is uh, for that pin. So this will go right down the, the uh, where are we at here? Right down the sides of the, in, in the corners of the tank. And it gives you some reach too. And I'm guessing also, you could probably leave it a little loose and from a distance, uh, as as we go up and down with it, uh, this will this will adjust for the angle changing on on the tank on your you know between your hands and the tank. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Let's get that out. All right, some more packeted things. Oh, this is the. Sponge pad. For uh, for doing the glass, for doing the primary part of the walls. Okay. So we should give this a try. Now so far, I think my only suggestion would be toss in a couple more replacement blades just in case. Because I'm not sure if that's going to be an easy blade to find. I'm going to take that apart and see what kind of a blade it is. Um, and it may be one of those kinds of blades that you can get at the home centers that they use uh, uh, for floor scrapers. We'll have to see. All right. Okay, so I've pulled apart the, the scraper. Very thin, very sharp blade. It does not look like one of the standard floor scraper blades. So perhaps Higer sells replacement blades, because I'm sure you're going to need to replace this at some point. We usually do. And you're going to need a really small Phillips screwdriver. This one's a number zero. Come around the other side here. Maybe I can get that to focus a little better. Really tiny to fit that. Okay, so I've detached, there we are, the, the other part of the handle just to give myself a little more room. Uh, I'm in a kind of close confines here with uh, with the rack that my tanks are on. But I want to try this scraper. Um, see if we... One thing I saw, they've got that angle thing on the bur on the, the sponge. I would like to see that on these as well. Although I'm not sure if it would be really practical or not, but it might be. I want to try and get to the back of the tank here. Yeah, it works back there too. It's it's kind of pushing it off. It's not really scraping off because the angle is so, uh, the angle of the blade's almost perpendicular. So if I move in a little more, uh, but that might be where that angle or, you know, that uh, adjustable, adjustable head might come in handy. So anyway, scraper works well. 
Next big thing I really want to try here is this angular, uh, or the, this corner sponge, see just how that works. side here. Yeah, that actually works pretty well. Yeah, that actually works pretty well. Let's try it on the other side too. I'm going to move you guys. Nobody gets seasick. Now, if you didn't have anything right on top of your tank, like another shelf like I do, this would probably be a whole lot easier. Let me move this little pot out of the way. I've got these little potted cryptochorines. Yeah, it works pretty good. That works pretty good. I like it. All right. Picks up a lot of stuff. So I imagine we're going to want to uh, blast that off, you know, in the faucet. I'm going to go do that real quick, see how, how well it cleans up. All right, well, I used the spray nozzle on the laundry room faucet, and that cleaned up really well. And that's going to be important. I'm going to try the big sponge now. Tilt it up just a hair. And uh, we'll see how that works. And I've got the, the full handle back on. And it also has the adjustable, the adjustable head on it here. Now, whatever kind of sponge they're using here, it works really well. I like that. I'm going to try it on my big tank. This one can be hard to get to. I always end up missing spots with the razor scraper. Now, the one thing I just noticed with that rock here, there is a consideration. Let me get all the plants off of it. Uh, the depth here, uh, let's make sure, the depth here for distance behind, uh, you know, between the glass and whatever your decorations are so you can get in there. So you'd want to keep that in mind. Adjust accordingly. One thing I always learned is stand back on an angle and those little patches of algae that you miss show up a little better. Wow. Yeah, I like it. And once again, I have a shelf right overhead here, so it makes it a little hard to get the handle in. But, in this case, I'd probably take the long handle extension off and that'll give me another, I don't know, another four inches or so. Make it a little less, uh, you know, the handle wouldn't be as much in the way for me with the shelf right above the tank. I think I've got about eight inches from the top of the tank to the bottom of the shelf right above it. These are on metal, uh, metal garage shelves, storage shelves. So there we go. And all i got to do is wipe down the water on the outside. All right, so the next part will be the little bottle brush. And it's just about the perfect size. This is the pickup tube for an aqua clear hang on back filter. 
and it is the perfect size. I don't have it on the extension, don't really need it for this, but it is the exact right size to go in and clean out the pickup tubes. So also another plus. So let's see, what did I say? That's, uh, I think about 3 8 inch in diameter. My mistake, it is 3 quarters of an inch in diameter from side to side. Goes right inside, that's about the inside diameter of these uh, aqua clear pickup tubes. So if you have any pickup tubes that are about this diameter or any other kind of tubing, this would be great. And I'm not sure if Tiger has uh, different diameter uh, brush attachments that you can get. And if they did for this, that would be great. You would need the handle for longer tubing, like for, uh, um, oh, maybe uh, uh, under gravel filters and matting filters or some other type of filter that requires a long tube. Not bad, not bad at all. And then last but not least, the net or Ennet if you prefer. Um, and we can chase a few fish around and see how well it works. See how much drag there is. I don't really want to rough up my fish too much, so you will forgive me if I don't go out of the way to, to catch a couple unless they just sort of swim in. And, and sometimes they will, because as much as I love them, they're not always the sharpest tools in the shed. So there we go. But it feels good in the water. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I, I didn't want to use this net just chasing my fish around, but I will chase some shrimp around because I'm going to move a few. We'll see how it works with shrimp. See if they get stuck in here. Let's let's hope not. It is really fine, so we'll see. I'm gonna catch plants and all. And I'm gonna need two hands for this. They're kind of hard to see because they are dark also. These are blue dream cherry shrimp. So I'm gonna dump these into this measuring cup. They're going into another tank. That's why I'm doing this. All right, well the shrimp did not stick to the net at all. They all came out. That's a nice lot of shrimp. But these are gonna go in another tank. But anyway, I just wanted to show that that net works well. Also, uh, for chasing sh uh, shrimp. You know, especially when you get them in a big wad like that. They were all stuck on this hydrocotyl Japan. So that made it really, in fact, there's another one. So that made it really easy to do. Well, that is it. So all in all, um, not too bad. I'm going to have to uh, go find out what this retails on Amazon for. All right, so let's do a quick review. Um, and also, thank you to Nicole from Hyger for asking me to do this. So we have this handle that goes anywhere from two to three feet. And it connects up really well and tightens nicely. I like that. With the spring uh, insert connect to all the different pieces that are part of the kit. Um, this is the algae scraper blade, razor blade. Remember, it's sharp, it's very thin, flexible. Um, my only suggestion would be throw a couple extra blades in, in the box. Um, but I, I like it. I like the width of it. I like the scraper. And the little protective cover fits over nicely, snaps into place. All right, um, they're calling it a gravel rake. And I saw in their four piece kit, they have a little broom or a brush that goes on the end of that. Personally, I'd rather have that than this because I'm not sure what to do with this. But that little brush, I think that's more practical of a piece. That little brush could be used for, you know, like brushing off uh, maybe algae on, on rocks or, or uh, driftwood pieces, whatever. I think that would be a, a, a more suitable piece. And I, I think they could probably just maybe uh, just put this one on the back shelf for now. Um, the bottle brush works great for a, a three quarter inch, roughly three quarter inch, excuse me, <coughs> um, pickup tubes or, you know, aquarium tubing, uh, like, like pickup tubes. But I like that. That worked really well. And then the two different sponges, both on the adjustable, right? 
both adjust whatever's good uh, and I really like the material and also they cleaned off really well under the faucet and then a net it's a good size net it's like a you know one of those green nets only it's about a medium size one of those um, hang on There we are it measures about five inches we'll do inside that's probably more important just short of four inches or just over four and just over three inches uh, really soft material looks good looks good and then a replacement screw and an allen wrench to uh, uh, loosen and tighten these adjustments on the the two brooms or mops or sponges there we go so there it is that's it in a nutshell and amazon uh for this six piece kit is uh 29.99 so there you go and it is higher let me show the cover again i'm going to set these off to the side comes in this really really nice box very well packed uh, in, the, in the cutout styrofoam here right so there's just a quick overview of all the parts the two-piece handle uh, the gravel rake the scraper and cover the tube brush the square sponge or rectangle sponge the corner sponge the little replacement spring and allen wrench the allen wrench remember comes in handy for uh, um, um, adjusting the backs of uh, the sponges and then the net and that's it and don't forget the instruction manual and I'm looking at this and I'm thinking one more thing they could probably add might be a small little you know little screwdriver I've gotten those when in external hard drives these little tiny Phillips screwdrivers and that that might be a nice little touch because not everybody's gonna have one of those if they ever need to replace these blades nevertheless uh, so here we go uh, the Hyger aquarium cleaning set six in one HGY-S002-M. I uh, you know it's 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 a nice kit. I like it. Somebody asked me what I recommended for some yeah, you know, um, uh, everything in here I can use except I'll have to figure out what to do with the gravel rake. Uh, but I don't know, maybe in cleaning up a tank, taking apart a tank. I really don't know. But beyond that, and I, I think I said I'd like the uh, They've got another little, like a little scrubby brush that attaches onto the handle. I think that would be more practical personally, but that's my two cents. But anyway, once again, uh, Nicole, thanks for reaching out to me and thank you for the opportunity. And uh, I'll put a link to this on, uh, in the description for uh, 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 Amazon. And I, I'm not an affiliate, so it's just a link so to share with you guys. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free. And as always, please subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, not enough coffee maybe this morning. Please subscribe. It helps the channel grow. It helps keep me out in front of the algorithm. Uh, and it allows me to share uh, my fishy content. And I appreciate you all. And as always, thanks for watching.